Okay, I cut out of an old 2 by 4 these sort of uh, generic shapes of Spike's paws. We're going to make two puppet paws that are going to be the opening sequence for the bandsaw video. And I, I made these paws so that they pivot a little bit right here. And just to get a quick spring-loaded hinge, I'm going to use this polypropylene cup, which uh, might be too brittle, but we'll see in a minute. So there, I have a spring action I could put on there. See, the hot glue is going to change the integrity of the plastic a little bit, but as long as I wait and let it cool, we're going to have sort of makeshift cables and a trigger to be able to pull the paws to the inward position. So there we have a quick spring-loaded puppet hand. Now, next I'm going to put a little cable on the inside with a trigger here that'll pull that paw in. These are going to be our ligaments. We'll see if they work. Slide that in there. Zip strips. Never mind. <laughs> These just broke off, so I put some holes through the styrene cup. And now it'll pop through like a like a rivet right there, so that'll be good. It'll hold much stronger. So here's our ligaments connected to the paw. It goes up through the arm and back down to the inside of the arm to the switch. And that curve eliminates a lot of the potential friction. So let's glue this in place and see if this works. Hot glue doesn't stick very well to polypropylene, so I might have to drill a little hole through it. So we got our, got our cat paws. <laughs> Hot glue and plastic, zip ties and wood. Ha <laughs> ha. 